The demolition of one of Fort Erie's most iconic bridges is just beginning here in southern Ontario. The replacement of the Central Avenue Bridge, constructed in 1953, is crucial to the revitalization of the downtown core of this growing community. A job of this complexity requires a very specialized expertise, and so Rankin Construction was awarded the contract. We're here in beautiful Fort Erie, at Central Avenue Bridge. This is an important link here in the city. There's not a real good detour route uh, for, uh, for traffic in this area. So uh, in order to fast track the work, uh, they come up with these rapid replacement jobs. The project began with construction of the new bridge just to the west of the site. Next, preparation of the site and the removal of the existing bridge. Not an easy task with CN Rail actively running trains underneath it. So the bridge is carefully cut free and gradually lifted out of the way by cranes. And the remaining piers are demolished to make room for the new bridge. As you can see here, we've got this new bridge built just west of where the old bridge was on the temporary supports, there's four of them, and uh, everything's been built level uh, to line up with the new substructure. Now, all of their work culminates on this muggy day in August. The new 115-meter bridge will be put in place before the sun goes down. We're here today now sliding the structure over. Uh, once it's in place, we've got to obviously tie in the ends and make it ready for, uh, for opening. Rolling an over five million pound bridge onto its new piers is a complex task requiring a hydraulic rail system. For this phase of the project, Rankin will partner with Western Mechanical. So this is our gripper system. It can work in both directions. In the lock position, down, the cylinders extend and it just actually grips on the T-rail. There's like a set of teeth in there, it clamps down, then when it retracts it just slides along, it's spring-loaded, so it'll just back off, slide along and then grip again when it starts putting pressure against it. With the gripper system all set up, the crew has a final safety talk. For our guys, uh, this is Nick's push today. We're here to help them ahead of anything else that's happening today. Uh, Donnie will be assigning a couple of guys to the abutment. Any questions about the push or anything to do around the push, through Nick, if we can, please, or one of Nick's guys that are there with radio systems to Nick. All my guys know the position they need to be in. Nobody else on the piers or the abutments where the equipment is set up. Anybody can say stop at any given time. If there's an issue, somebody sees something, somebody say stop, we're going to stop. And with those words of wisdom, the crew begins to roll the bridge east. We'll let the brakes off and we'll start our procedure. We're good to go. If you watch it, he, he just did the first six inch stroke, he'll do another one. Yeah. And then he'll retract it and it just comes back. Three, two, three, and then it'll be another 40 mil push after that. It's going very well so far. I think the bridge is moving at about 1.6 millimeters per second, which is about one foot every three minutes. Millimeter by millimeter, the new Central Avenue bridge slips into place. After five hours, the bridge has settled into its new permanent home. We did move a bridge today, all 115 meters out of it. The whole crew here, Rankin guys, Western's guys, everyone working together. Pushing together, same direction. Work went really well. It would be nice to see it wide open, two lanes, everybody traveling. Nice new wide sidewalks, bicycle lanes. I'm sure it'll help the downtown club. And Rankin Construction adds another mega success to its roster of high-profile projects. <laughs>